What's up guys, and it's Scottbot944 here, back with another video, and today we're going to be doing a drawing video, because lately when I've been doing these like drawing YouTube shorts, uh, y'all have been really, really liking them, so I'm going to do a, another drawing tutorial, but today I'm going to be doing a house, because last time we did a gaming setup, so I thought what well, might as well just do a house, so you can have any drawing materials you need we obviously need a paper and a pencil it doesn't matter what pencil you use i'm using a sketch pencil uh and i have an extra pencil here with an eraser but um so yeah so to start it off we're gonna start with a little like baseline sort of thing so we're gonna just draw and remember i'm not a professional artist so don't think this is gonna be amazing so don't expect you know you know what I'm saying? So you can kind of just draw. It doesn't have to be perfectly straight because the ground isn't perfectly straight. Just a nice, simple line across your paper. So this is kind of be gonna be the where your house is standing. And remember, it doesn't it doesn't have to look exactly like mine because every drawing is a little different, and that's good. So we're gonna be starting with the left side of the house. And we're just going to be doing, like, basic basic shapes. So we're going to be starting with a big, like, square th sort of thing. You know what I'm saying? Like a... And it doesn't have to be huge. But just... About that size. And if you mess up, like how I did there and there, well, we can always go back. And, but you can always use your mistakes as something good. So, um, but you can always go back there and pause the video and uh, fix your mistakes. And I'm, I'm going to try to be going slow. So I'm not, so y'all don't have to be like pausing and keep going. So then we're going to do the the roof here. And it's kind of good. I accidentally did that. So you're going to kind of extend out and do a little just triangle because that's what because well obviously because that's what roofs are oh man my pencil is breaking with sick i'm gonna pause the video i'm gonna go shove in my pencil and be it's just this happens to everybody so i'm pause the video uh go shove my pencil and yeah see you back Okay, sorry about that, guys. I don't even know what happened. That usually doesn't happen, but I just had to go quickly sharpen my pencil. So I'm gonna start with the next, like, like next spot on the building. We're just gonna do the basic, like, shapes down of all the buildings, and then we're gonna go back and add all the details. So we're gonna add the next part. That's like the, uh, what's it called? Like, well, one of the rooms and the garage so we're gonna go here you can start like a maybe an inch up from uh the um like from the bottom of the roof and you can go up just a little bit you want to be almost squared to the top of the roof so you're gonna probably stop like there and you can go over like just a little bit over to like here and just make another line that's matching the height of that, if y'all can see that. I know the angle is a little weird. My setup here is a little makeshift, so if it's kind of hard for y'all to tell how tall it is, I'm sorry. Um, so again, we're gonna connect the top, and we're gonna do another, like, like kind of, it's gonna be a, um, it's gonna be another triangle, but with a little like line in front. So you, remember, you're gonna go out a little bit, both sides, try to make them as close as possible. You're gonna go in a little bit. I think I might add a little bit to that one. And then what you're gonna do is then you're gonna connect it with a little straight line. 
And remember, I'm not a perfect artist, so it's not going to be perfectly straight. So, oh, I forgot to add this uh, for both of these parts. It's under the roof. It's just a little tiny, like, outside, like, layer sort of thing. Okay, so, uh, what you're going to do is you're going to go down here, because I said it was kind of like the way you go to the uh, garage. So you're going to go up, not all the way, maybe like, I don't know, a quarter, maybe in like a quarter of the way for both sides. And then you're going to connect it at the top. And you can, if you want to, you can make it like double, double layered, like this. Um, okay, so as I already said, we, 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 we're going to come back and add like the windows and all that stuff. So just, yeah, I'm, just know that I'm not like skipping this. So, as I said, we can go from, like, block to block to from the houses. So, I'm going to go. So, next, we're going to go to this part of the house. And we're going to go, like, a, maybe halfway, more like a quarter of the way, a little bit higher than the roof. And you're just going to go over f from that other one and just go over and down. And so this roof is a kind of a little tricky for me uh, to draw. It kind of goes in to the the house. So we're gonna we're gonna what you're gonna do is you're kind of just gonna go like out a little bit and then diagonally up. So it kind of looks like it's like going into the house. And because I said it's only in the house, we need a part up here. So what we're going to do is, yes, this one needs to be a little bit lower than this one. Because it's a little, like, part of the house that is, uh, like, closer up. So what you're going to do, actually, no, you don't have to do that. That makes it everything more complicated. So what you're going to do is, well, you can start by just, like, showing that it's the block off of the roof. And then you're gonna go from here, not very all the way to the top, but more like a quarter from here to here, like a quarter, like three quarters of the way. And you're not gonna go fully over. I know this is a terrible line. We're gonna go over with Sharpie later. So any mistakes that you have, we're always gonna fix later. So. What we're going to do is, this is another piece, and remember how we add this line, and here. Okay, so, we're going we're gonna to have a big roof up here, up here but we're gonna, we kind of need to fit, finish this part of the house to add the big roof. You know what I'm saying? So, what we're going to do is... For this next part, we're gonna we're gonna kind of erase a little bit of this roof, go down, and then in like that, and then you're gonna go over just not not much, but just a little bit. You're gonna go up, and as as I bet y'all can tell by this point, this is my first take. And because I'm not trying to do 50 takes. So and so there's going to be some little messes up. Mess ups. <laughs> but um, but that's going to be normal. Because it's my first take. Alright. So you're going to do a connector line. Connect it. A straight line. Basically every part of this house is just going to be straight lines like it's gonna be not very hard it might take a little while for you to do it but it's not complex at all 
So again, you can add that little extra part and then but to, to do the little roof here we need to do this next part so after this next part we we'll add this roof so this is like the main way to get in this is where the front door is going to be so you're going to go up a little bit and then you're going to go over like that and then remember as i said everything kind of straight lines and i'm at a little bit of an awkward angle here so that's why of course my lines are bad so then we're gonna go and this one's just gonna be a normal roof it's the normal oh wait that's my fault Sorry, that is. Scratch that. Sorry about that. Remember, I bet a lot of y'all caught me there that we need to add the extender piece. And then, yeah. There you go. If any of y'all are like following along with me and you're using markers, it's my fault and you already started. It's my fault. It will look fine with uh with the with the non-extended part that's my fault though because as as i already said it's my first take so you don't have to like restart or anything it'll look fine people will, won't be able to notice it so again we have that extra part and as i said you know how i said we need this we need to fi finish this section to do uh what's it called this roof so we finish that section so we're gonna extend we're gonna do finish this so we're gonna extend roof and then go up and I, i'm guessing y'all know where this is going and then we're gonna go down into this roof we might want to make that a little bit higher and it kind of wants you kind of want it to be like up here and then but remember everybody's strong is different so you can make your roof lower you can make all of this smaller you can you, you can make it taller so yeah you can do whatever you want it, it's really your way of customizing this house i'm just kind of giving you a base well i'm gonna finish all the details but you can always switch it if you want to so you did this now we're going to do the next part we only have two more blocks like like pieces of the house until we can start adding the details in the big roof as i already talked about so what you're going to do is you're going to go over these all of these are kind of like the same size and i know like it might seem a little bit bigger because why well, I haven't I didn't take measurements, but yeah. So these two things are basically identical a little bit. So you're gonna make it a little shorter, like the other side, and then you're gonna add the extra piece, and then go out a little bit. This is a bit another piece of the big roof. Go up. And then you're going to kind of connect, like, right here to that part, part of the roof. Okay, last part of the house until um, we can start adding the details and the big roof, as I said. Okay. So, we're going to come down here. We're going to go decently low. And then you're going to go out and down. I don't know if y'all can really see that. I'm going to move it a little closer for y'all for this part so y'all can see a little bit better. As I said, my camera angle is a little weird and funky because I don't have a great setup. So you're going to go diagonal for the roof. Oh, wait, again. I don't know why I keep on forgetting this. Go out. 
and then up. And then I think you should go a little bit lower. It really doesn't matter how your drawing is. And then you're gonna go and kind of diagonal it into the roof. That does look a little bit weird. I'm gonna kind of remember. I'm kind of customizing the roof, um, so you can do it uh, in any way you want. As I said, it's your drawing, and it's however you want to do it. So after that, now, so we're gonna add the big roof, okay? And we're gonna, after the big roof, we're gonna add like like some pieces of the roof that's behind, and so you can kind of see. So you're gonna go from this part. You're gonna go out a little bit, not much though. I'm sorry about the background noise. It's just like, yeah. So we're gonna. Oh, sorry. There we go. You're gonna go out a little bit, and then up to make sure you get it right you can kind of go up a little bit from here so you're gonna go up i'm at i'm gonna so you're gonna go up and then you're gonna connect it like that uh what i think i'm gonna do is i'm going to Make it a little bit more slanted so it doesn't look like it's as tall as a sky, skyscraper because it kind of looks really tall. I don't want it to be that tall. So, yeah. So, um, if y'all want to any more of these, well, it's, it's obviously not done, but... If y'all want more drawing videos, just tell me in the comments. But if the comments aren't working, just uh, hit the like, bu like button. And then I'll know that's what y'all like to see from my YouTube channel. And I've been posting a lot about Madden too. So y'all can also tell me like Madden video ideas. I play a lot of Ultimate Team, but I don't have that much coins. So really not that much team builders. But if you want... You want me to uh like kind of record me playing ultimate team and how i make my coins and everything then tell me okay so now we're gonna add the details you so we're gonna start from left to right as we did with the, the pieces you can go up a little bit and then you're gonna go across And then match that same one, make them pretty close together. Across again. You're gonna go up. This is gonna be a window. Up. In. Up. In. Down. Out. And down so that's kind of like the frame for the roof and you're gonna you're gonna double line sorry about that guys my my video just like cut off i don't know what happened uh, i was about to say you're gonna double line this right here and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna add like some little pillars right here so do a little bit of like an upside down V for both of these parts right here. And then just going down, let's do two straight lines. So as I've said a lot of times in this video, if y'all have any video ideas for me or anything that you want to do, just leave it in the comments. So or, or if um, like there's anything that uh, you thought that you saw that I could have fixed or anything, just, uh, please tell me in the comments, and, yeah, I read, like, all of my comments, because 
but a lot of the time they get really bored and so only thing I can do and yeah I just love reading them it's kind of fun all right so now what you you're gonna draw so I, while I was talking about that you're gonna draw a little tiny like rectangle and then put some lines in it and then a line down the middle so now we're gonna do the uh the window here so you're gonna go from kind of like here but a little bit up you're gonna go straight across and double line that and then what you're gonna do is this is gonna this is gonna be two separate windows so you're gonna go up across across and then down and then up across down and then you're gonna double line both of these at least that's what i call it double lining i really don't know what it's really called and then it's kind of the same thing straightforward uh, you can add a little bit more lines if you want i'm going to and it doesn't have to be perfect it doesn't doesn't have to be exactly the same number is I'm lazy and I don't want to count, but yeah, you can. Oh, uh, okay, so now we're going to move to here. So what's going to happen is I'm going to do a basic shape and then we're going to kind of cut off from that shape. So what's going to happen is we're going to go, we're just going to make a, a box here. Just a box and we're going to cut out of this box I'm gonna make my box a little bit smaller and you're gonna make it a little bit smaller okay so now we're gonna start the cutting out part so what you're gonna do is at the top corner here you're gonna do a little kind of like a like a backwards L And do something like that. And then up here, you're going to go down a little bit. And then you're going to make it really thin. And then up. So that's our kind of shape cut out. So what you're going to do for these, now we're just going to add a little detail. You're going to add a little U there and a U there. Make it a little bit of like a, just add a little bit more detail. And then... If you want to, you can double line this. Uh, I think I might. Yeah, I think I'm gonna get double line it. It looks fine without the double line, but if you want to double line it, then go ahead. If you if you want to double line it, then you can. So double line. And then add a little like new sort of thing. And then another U sort of thing. Alright, so that's that middle part done. And now we're gonna add some more pillars. So another upside down U or bowl, whatever you wanna call it. And then you can just go straight down. There's some details that if you like if you add, wanted to add an extra detail there, you can. I'm just gonna leave that out. But I might go back in and add it. Now we're gonna do two thin windows right here on the house. It would actually look a little bigger, but because we have such a tight space, this is what we're gonna work with. So. Those are your two windows. And then, so now we're gonna come up here. And if you want to, you can also double line this. So that's gonna be double lined. So now you're gonna come up here and you're gonna do a little bit of, so you're gonna do an 
like an upside down how about we'll call it an upside down cup how about that an upside down cup and then you double line all right so now we're gonna go across twice down the middle okay so um now we're gonna move to this section and you're gonna go like right here and then you're gonna add a straight line across straight line and then you're gonna go up we're, there's gonna be a lot of upside down cups as we called it and then double line this window is gonna look a little bit different though you're gonna do is you're gonna do a double line in the middle that was kind of bad and then you're gonna do two down and then for each window you're gonna do two across there we go all right, so now we're gonna move down here and we're gonna do a another sort of thing, kind of like these two, uh, especially like that one. So we're basically copying it across. That was kind of bad too. <laughs> Making sure that y'all have a good angle on this. I don't want it to be like super far away that it's kind of blurry for y'all. Strong pencil. And when I like mess up and I redo it, y'all can always skip forward if you want to. So you can just get to the next part so I don't have to be like holding you back. And then basically the same thing here. You're going to go up. In, up, in, down, out, down. And then double line this. And then what we're going to do is we're going to do the little pillars. Two down. And then what we're going to do is we're going to do little tiny window in here so this one's gonna be kind of like that one but we're gonna do a straight in the middle then two and then two okay so um uh, now for the main part we're gonna go this is gonna be we're gonna do a little window here then the door here so we're going to start with the little tiny window, and you're going to go across, making sure y'all can see that, across, and then like a little tiny U, upside down U, that was really bad at the end. <laughs> and remember, I'm not like Bob Ross or anything, so I'm still learning how to draw, so don't come here for professional artwork yeah so and then see what we're gonna do with instead of doing that we're gonna do two pieces we're just gonna double line the whole thing and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a little u here and then two across and then down Okay, now the door. This is the big one. So what's gonna happen is you're gonna go up, out, and then uh, up, in, a U, one upside down U. Out, down, in, down. So you can add the little tiny, like, 
I forget what the name is. I swear I just saw it. <laughs> said it like 50 times. Like the little column things. And then you're going to have, have an, a window here. It's going to be a window. So this window is going to be a little bit different than the others. I'm going to go U, U, and then up, up, like a like diagonal and diagonal. And now we're going to do the door. We're going to go, because this is a little walkway, so it's not like the door is going to be floating, but we're going to have it in the middle, so just know that the door isn't floating. It's not a magic house. Just a normal house. I'm going to do actually two doors, and I'm making it tight. So that's going to be two doors. There we go. All right, um, t actually, no, we can add little tiny, like, lamp things so kind of like a lamp like lights keep on forgetting about this pencil doesn't have an eraser on it it's kind of weird why don't any like i've rarely seen any uh like um what's it called like any of these sketch pencils that actually, like, that have a, uh, like, an eraser. I've rarely seen any. It's weird. Like, why don't you have an eraser for your catch pencil? pencil? So, uh, remember, so just two more, and then we can add some details to the roof. That might take a little while. I think we might just make it easy, but we're going to add, but yeah, so two more. So... It's basically, it's basically just the same windows all over the house, just repeating. So it's basically the same window as this. So we're just going to do two of these guys. Two of those. And then double line. That double line was trash. This one is two. <laughs> you know what? That's the magic part of an eraser. Because, damn, it was never there. I did it again. <laughs> okay. Um, so, I'm going to do three. Or two. How about let's do two? Yeah. I should know. Let's do three. So it looks better. So, and then now we're going to do the bottom one. Uh, you already kind of know this. What to do here at that point. Cross. Up. In. Up. In. Oh, wait, made it too far to the right. Sorry. And then, so up, in, up, in, down, out, down. So, yeah. And then, well, actually, oh, wait. Oh, uh, yeah. So we're going to do this, and then we can add some no details, like this one. So we're going to add a little detail right here. I should have done it where I did the box. That's what I should have done. And then do use. And then like the column pillar thing, majigs. I don't even know. And then two really thin <laughs> windows. And we got the two thin windows. And then you can double line it. OK. 
Okay. And then one more. Go to here. And the reason why it's like it's not all leveled. One, because well, it's not like I'm uh, measuring or anything. But two, it's because this one's supposed to be like kind of behind all of these. I bet y'all have caught on to that already, but yeah. That's just also another way of me saying I'm lazy and I don't level them. <laughs> but it is supposed to kind of be behind, so I guess it kind of works. So, one, two... Three, four, five, and then down the middle. Okay, so that's the all the windows and really big detail is done. Now we're gonna add what's it called? You can if you want to, you can add a little tiny like like a little kind of driveway sort of thing. I don't know if I'm going to outline this because it might just add a ton of extra time to the video. You can you can customize your uh, driveway any way you want. I'm going to can add a little bit of these at the end. And then I'm going to add a little bit of a like a, a walk to the front door. That's your walkway. And I'm gonna cut that off right there. And then if you wanted to, you can add like a little like you can add like a like a brick wall here. So you can add like I'm not gonna do it because I'm lazy, but you can add little like stones there. If you want to and then yeah and um so now for the roof the, so usually you know how roofs have those little like you like little things well if that would take forever to draw so i kind of just do like squiggles it fills it up and so you can do squiggles you can also do like if you want to, so you can do those squiggles. But it's also, if you want to, basically, like, uh, what's it called? Like, do this for five hours. You can do little use if you want to. I think I'm just going to leave it plain uh, for now. And we're almost basically done. Uh, if you want to, you can add a little, like, garden here like with flowers and stuff in it. garden and then this would be like your background you can add little clouds and like the sun if you want to um but yeah i think we're basically done there and that is how you draw a house uh thanks for watching and see y'all next time bye